What's up guys, my name is Susal Grind and as you can read by the title today I am going to do the whiskey and coke experiment on a new contender which is a Tenyaku whiskey It's a Japanese product, a Japanese whiskey that uh, I wanted to try out for a while. I wanted to try this one out ever since I got my whiskey license. So, please describe it as an elaborate and delicate and delicate blink blend of the finest select whiskey. And if I sound a little funny today, it's because I'm very fucking not straight right now. I'm. <laughs> A little sick, so if I cough a little bit and shit, you know why. But that's not stopping me from drinking whiskey, so in fact, whiskey might actually help. So. Uh, it's gonna read the label. They say Tenyaku is the Japanese character for the Skylark Hibari, the much loved. Herald of Spring and for this masterfully blessed blended whiskey, like the clear exquisite song of a small bird, it features a an agreeably pure mellow flavor overlooking Mount Fuji surrounded surrounded by mellow flavor co over Surrounded by nature's riches, carefully selected whiskies and pure natural spring water are expertly blended to create this distinctive whiskey. As you can tell, I'm struggling to even just read because I'm I'm so sick. My brain is not cooperating now. It seems this is the way you open it. Okay. And then what? This? I was trying to open it in an easier way. Let's get this shit over here. I like clean bottle. Oh, there's some Japanese text on the cap. And I'm guessing that's just the Japanese for turn this way to open. So let's let's do that actually. Any room smells? Okay, it's not strong. Oh! It's <coughs> similar to the smell of Jack Daniels, but... It has a little more of a cinnamon type thing going on to it. Like in the smell, I'm not saying it's gonna taste like it at all. It probably won't. So you know, there's the glass, and I'm gonna do about this much. Let's see how much that is. Yeah, that is actually about how much I want. Yep. That is usually how much I... Well, actually, a little bit more wouldn't hurt. I haven't had whiskey in a while, so this is, this is just me sort of rewarding myself. It does get a little wet when you pour it, so keep that in mind. It's a really slimy pour. I don't know how to describe it otherwise. 
it gets everywhere when you pour it. That's that's the only thing I could critique probably on any whiskey is that when you pour it, it sucks to pour. But let's get the the the, the, the Swedish Coke in here. And mix it up. I'm hoping this tastes just like a Jack Daniels should. What I mean is that it reminds me of it. It's about the same smokiness, and I guess I mis-explained it when I talked about Jack Daniels. I said it's like smoky, but it's not smoky, it's just... It's something in the flavor that... I don't know how to describe it, that's why I said it was smoky. So, because I don't know how to get the fuck out of here. Because I don't know how to describe it. Let's uh, let's smell it actually. Okay, all the whiskey, and this is the first time I drink whiskey in a month or two, maybe even more. Going in. Wow. Whoa. I don't think I had a, such an instant just wow moment. Holy shit, hold on. Okay, that's a strong flavor. Like, it's not even the alcohol, it's the flavor itself, it's strong. Okay, I think I'm ready to say my first words. So, to start it off, I'm gonna actually turn down a little more here. To start it off, it tastes good. It's very whiskey. It's the signature whiskey taste, and I love it. It's similar. It's not exact, but it's similar to Jack Daniels. It's a little lighter in the sense that it's it's a little less, not lighter. That's a that's a bad way of explaining it. It's not lighter. It's less like it, but it's it. There's some of it there, but it's also kind of it's. Keep in mind when I when I say this, I mean in terms of a whiskey and alcohol. I don't mean in terms of when you chew a candy and your entire mouth feels like it's full of sugar. It's kind of sweet. It has a sweet undertone to it, but it's not sweet to where you're gonna drink it out of the bottle and be like, oh, it's sweet! Oi, 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 candy! No, no, no. Not that kind of sweet. That's not what anyone means, apparently, when they say something is sweet. Uh, but I mean, as for the coke and uh, whiskey experience, I mean, you taste the flavor before it even goes into your mouth. Oh, wait. It's a little bit like honey. That's why it tastes sweet. It tastes a little bit like honey, and it's un it's it's funny because it's just a pure metal of flavor, but it's taste the flavor to me is strong. And then again, I haven't had something that says it's a strong flavor of this or that to compare with. So this is this is the third kind of whiskey I've ever had. To be quite honest, which up and. Uh, to be quite honest with you, it's making me really happy. Get the fuck out of here. Ain't fucking fly, man. This, this is this is this is a good bottle. This is like a bottle I go hug you when I sleep tonight. Oh, this is the kind of bottle that turns you from. 
just a social drinker to an alcoholic. That's how tasty it is, mixing it like this with Coke. It's just... It's bliss. It's honestly one of the greatest flavors I've ever had. Did you get the little strong after flavor that comes with whiskey? But then the first flavor that hits you is kind of like honey. And I love it. I, I, I can't wait to get fucked in this brain compartment tonight off of this thing. And I mean, how much is the usual amount? 35. Okay, so it's not even half a liter in the normal ones. The normal whiskey is 35 centiliters. This one's 70 centiliters or 700 milliliters or 0 0.7 liters. If you're American and you only know how to measure ounces because you're a weird American, I'm sorry, I can't help you. I only know it's 700 milliliter or 70 centiliter, which is common for a big whiskey bottle. It's kind of sad because <coughs> even though it's a nice little design here, I wish they just bulged it out a little more and made it taller so they could have one liter instead maybe bump up the price by ten dollars but I mean it would be worth it because this whiskey sure I wouldn't have bought it if it was that expensive but I mean it costed me 36 bucks no like 30 32 dollars and I don't think you need to spend that much to have good whiskey and coke experience I think, honestly, you can just go with a decently priced one, like $30 up there, and get a big bottle, for sure, and then you're good. I mean, even 20 bucks you could probably get away with. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure the bigger version of the Black Velvet costs like 20-something, the Canadian whiskey. So... With that said, now I've tried American, Can Canadian, and Japanese whiskey. So we've tried three different countries. And I never rated this one, I just realized. Um, it's 10, obviously, because I, I said it was like one of my best flavors. And also, I know this is kind of cheesy to point out, but... The logo has like gold in it, and this black text is actually like layered on top of the thing. And it looks like it, it's probably not hand drawn, it's probably a print. But I mean, it's layered on top of the logo, and it's kind of a papery feel to the to the actual bottle there's yeah and it's made in Japan I probably said that a hundred times already where's Komako I want the good song so Would I recommend this whiskey? Oh, um, well, of course, it's awesome. Even if you just drink whiskey like out of the bottle or out of a glass because you're a fucking maniac who likes tasting literal fucking gasoline and not making a grog with it, I I still I think I think this would still be good in in literal drinking sense. But, <coughs> would I, the bigger question is, would I recommend this over Jack Daniels? Because keep in mind, I've always said Jack Daniels is my favorite whiskey. And, I think I'm, I'm gonna have to say it's, it's a strong tie unless I have Jack Daniels 
in a couple months or something, because I don't think I'm going to be affording anything like that soon. Like, if I have Jack Daniels again, and I manage to have it alongside this bottle, I don't think I'll, you know, I don't think I'll change my opinion, so... On that note, I'm not even getting that drunk. It's really fucking tasty though. So I guess on that note, I've been Susan Grind. I have been watching me do the whiskey and coke experiment on the beautiful Tenyaku whiskey from Japan. And the uh, that's it, you know, the model stay cute.